This is SSPTV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. Find out how the Hazleton Area School District plans to keep classrooms clean during the pandemic. Hello there and thanks for dropping by today. I'm Ken Carr and here's your local information from SSPTV and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. The Hazleton Area School District is the first in the country to purchase an Alta Pure AP4 disinfectant system for classrooms. Caroline Kochelik is the sales manager for Alta Pure and she's on a new Sam LaSanne show running now on SSPTV. Alta Pure is a, it's a technology company. We were founded back in 2004 uh, by father and son duo Carl and John Riccardi. They literally uh, basically built this technology from the ground up but didn't exist before uh, these two practically invented it. And uh, we deliver uh, ultrasonics uh, to, a, to a liquid that creates this very fine mist or fog that gets into all the different nooks and crannies, fills a space entirely. Um, and disinfects it with a non-toxic, food-safe, organic, and, and biodegradable chemistry. Uh, most of our customers have been in the healthcare space, hospitals, long-term care facilities, surgical centers, um, but ever since the coronavirus pandemic, we've uh, really broadened our scope to schools, uh, cruise lines, uh, municipal buildings, restaurants, um, and we're, uh, you know, firehouses. And, uh, you know, what we are able to do is deliver a total elimination of pathogenic bio burden, not just corona, but uh, you know, foodborne pathogens, fungal spores, mold, uh, and it's a very diverse and versatile technology that we're so excited to partner with BioHighTech on and are incredibly excited uh, to be offering that to the Hazleton School District as they reopen. Yeah. There's its machine, uh, it's called the AP4, yeah. and that's put typically roughly in the center of the room. Um, I call it the crock pot of high level disinfection because you literally, you wheel it in and then uh, you'll seal the room properly and you uh, operate the machine via a very simple tablet. The room then fills with the, air, with the ultrasonic aerosol and uh, it'll dwell uh, to make sure that every single surface is getting the same treatment. According to a report in the Standard Speaker, the district rented the machine for five years at a cost of $170,160. The cost was covered by a federal grant. You can watch that episode of The Sam LaSanne Show about the new AP4 disinfectant system right now on SSPTV, and you can watch it anytime at ssptv.com. The Hazleton Area High School boys golf team won the Wyoming Valley Conference Championship on Tuesday. Here's the SSPTV standard speaker scoreboard. The team beat Dallas by 10 strokes for the title. Joey Rabarczyk shot a 78 for the Cougars. They will now head to the District 2 3A team championship on Thursday against Abington Heights. And the Lady Cougars will take on Scranton Prep at the district championships. The Cougar soccer team beat Wyoming Valley West in extra time. Gavin Huey had the game-winning goal and a hat-trick for the Big HA. Tamaqua beat Pine Grove in boys soccer. Hazleton area girls lost in soccer but won in volleyball. Brooke Boretsky had 13 service points for the Lady Cougars. In the Schuylkill League, North Schuylkill and Marion won in girls volleyball and Minersville beat Shenandoah Valley. Two Hazleton Area High School football players are up for weekly awards after their performance in a win against Tunkhannock. You can vote for quarterback Kellen Warner at PennLive.com slash high school sports. Warner had 344 passing yards with three touchdowns in the Cougars' victory. Kevin Molusky is up for player of the week at NEPAfootball.com. Molusky had 128 receiving yards and two touchdowns on offense, and he picked off two passes on defense. You can vote for both players until Thursday night. October 1st is the last day to purchase back the blue signs to support Camp Cadet for kids in the area and the Back Mountain Police Association. Camp Cadet is a summer camp run by the Pennsylvania State Police for kids ages 12 to 15. Its goal is to introduce kids to the criminal justice system and establish a positive relationship with law enforcement personnel. Here's Marion DeAngelis with some background on the campaign to raise funds for Camp Cadet and the local police association. We've seen what was going on with um, the police and, and what's going on in the world today and in the news. Um, most people do appreciate their law enforcement officers, um, their first responders, and the fact that these people come to you um, during crisis when you need them the most and um, take care of you, protect you, um, serve the community. Uh, the community and I felt, you know, our, our volunteers felt that it was time to just show them a little support. And while we're doing that, get some funds for some great things like Camp Cadet. 
ten dollars each, and like I said, forty percent of that is um what the proceeds are that go to the charity. And the signs right behind me, they're beautiful signs. So you'll be proud to display them in your yard. And the police, um, the feedback I've gotten from the law enforcement officers that have seen them when they're patrolling the community makes them feel so good, especially, like I said, with what's going on today, that they know that the community has their back as well. You can purchase the signs or make a donation at your-365.com. You can also buy them at Ogurgus Law on Locust Street in Hazleton. The cost is $10 per sign. Time now for weather on SSPTV News. Here's our forecast from the National Weather Service tonight, mostly clear with a low of 48 degrees and wind gusts as high as 20 miles per hour. Thursday is sunny with highs in the mid 60s. Thursday night, a 30% chance of showers after 2 a.m. Increasing clouds with a low of 46. Friday, a 30% chance of showers before 2 p.m. Mostly sunny with a high of 59. Mostly clear on Friday night with a low of 40 degrees. Saturday, mostly sunny with a high of 58. Saturday night, mostly clear with a low of 38 degrees. Sunday, mostly sunny with a high of 59. And Sunday night, a 30% chance of showers after 2 a.m. mostly cloudy with a low of 44 degrees. The Fitness Center at the Lehigh Valley Health Network Health and Wellness Center in Hazleton reopens on Thursday. The gym will operate at a limited capacity and the hours are up on your screen and you will have to make an appointment. Members can make one-hour appointments by calling 570-501-6750. You can also call that number to ask about a membership or the new guidelines at the gym. Coming up next, our Janine LaSant gets some advice for parents on how to keep kids safe online. And in sports, we talk with a former Lady Cougar softball player who's now getting into sports journalism. Get a little preview of the latest Good Sports podcast in just a bit. And in the SSP TV Spotlight today, a Sam LaSant show about the topic of pro-life. We'll be right back. Good evening, everyone. Here's today's Talk of the Town. The Chamber Fall Golf Outing will be held on Friday, October 2nd. It will be $75 per player. The event will have a lunch at 11 a.m. and a shotgun start at 12 noon. For more information, you can call 570-455-1509 or you can go to hazeltonchamber.org. The Walk-In Arts Center in Schuylkill Haven will be having the 2020 Virtual Folk Art and Community Makers Festival on Saturday, October 3rd. For more information on the event, you can visit walkinartcenter.org. Pause for Cause for Autism 5K, 10K Run and Resource Fair will be held on Sunday, October 4th with registration beginning at 8 a.m. This event will be at Whitetail Preserve. For more information, you can email safeoffice at autismsafe.com. And that's today's Talk of the Town. SBTV News would like to send sincere condolences to the family and friends of these who recently departed. Rebecca H. Becky Rutkowski of Sugarloaf Township, Mass be Friday at 10 a.m. at St. John Bosco Church. The Joseph B. Conahan Funeral Home is in charge of arrangements. And Catherine Lauren, age 92, of Sugarloaf Township, the Frank J. Bonin Funeral Home will announce their arrangements. Today's social and obituary report is brought to you by Harmon Funeral Homes and Crematory. Call 570-788-0977 or go to harmonfuneral.com.